Wait a minute. Oh, hello. Okay, so we have gone over how to set up your project directories in order to access packages and modules without having to modify the sys.path variable. I want to show you a little bit of a different directory structure that you can use that will require you to make some changes to path variables in order to, to find the modules and packages. However, you may prefer this type of directory structure uh, in your project. Okay, so I'm using the same files that we had from the uh, packages tutorial. I've got the root project folder, which is my project. And inside of my project, I have a folder called my packages. And inside of my package, excuse me, it's called my package. And inside of that, there is a folder for sub package. And then there's module one and module two in my package as well. And then sub package has module three. So these are the same files and folder structures that you originally downloaded. And notice that the main.py is also in my root my project directory. So it's in the same directory as my package. Okay. And so here's going to be my what my main.py file looks like. Uh, so if you need to go ahead and pause the video and make sure you have this code in your main.py so it will run. I'm just simply importing from my package func1, func2, and func3, and then printing out those function calls. And then the init.py um, file that is inside of my package right here has the following code. I'm simply importing uh, from dot module one import func1, and then module two func2, and then from some sub package dot module three import func3. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute this code and just confirm that this works. Okay, so you can see in my console here, everything seems to be working. I did not get any module not found error. So running main.py, it was able to find the modules uh, in my package because main.py and my, my package are in the same um, folder. They're in the root my project folder. You can see right there. So inside of my project, I've got all I have is my package and main.py. Okay, so let's uh, experiment with a slightly different structure here. I'm going to close main.py briefly and open up a file explorer. And from within file explorer, I'm going to go and open up this project directory, packages tutorial, my project. And I'm going to create a new folder called, um, let's call it uh, programs. No, let's call it progs for short, progs. Okay, so I've got a new folder inside of my project called progs, and I'm going to move the main.py file inside of the progs folder. Okay, just like that. So we can minimize that. Now let's look back down here at the folder structure. So now inside of my project, I have two folders. I have my package and I have progs, and inside of progs is where my main.py Py file. So now I've got a situation where main.py is not in the same directory as my package. Let's go ahead and run the code uh, in main.py. So I need to open main.py back up and let's run the code. Now you can see I've got an error, no module named my package. Okay, so uh, it's not seeing my package because um, main.py is no longer in the same folder. And so there's a couple of things that we could do to fix this. And in the prior video, I mentioned the whole point of that video was to set up your folder in a way where you did not have to modify the sys.path variable. Um, but maybe that structure doesn't work for you and you want to set your project up this way. So I'm going to show you how to modify the sys.path variable so that this project will work. Okay, so I'm just going to go over here and clear the console. And first, in, in the console, I'm just going to import um, the sys module. And then let's take a look and see what is inside of the sys.path variable. Okay, so here's my sys.path variable. And you can see that the path to the my project directory is not anywhere in this path, which in my case is just C Python my project. So that uh, that path does not exist in sys.path. So what we need to do is we need to append that um, this path into the sys.path file. 
and I'm going to show you um, a way to do this so that you can actually make sure that this is persistent so that each time you run this project or if you let's say you send this uh, project directory tree to yourself and you want to work on it at home um, when you're at home your local computer won't have the same sys.path settings as your maybe your your computer at school or work and so by including the following code in your project code you can make sure that this works no matter where you use it so here's what we're going to do we're going to create a new python file inside of our progs folder so i'm going to click the new button here and file and save as and we're going to save this in progs and let's call it helpers helpers.py and helpers.py is just going to be a python file that's inside of our programs folder uh, that will have some helpful code that that we might need as part of our running our main project file okay so this is an empty file and I'm going to add some code in here that will append the the uh, my package excuse me the my project folder into our sys.path variable now the thing about the sys.path variable is it is persistent so it is remembered on your computer from one session to the next and if you keep appending the same directory every time you run um, this file you will end up with lots of appendings of the same directory in your sys.path and it'll be quickly crowded with lots of paths and you don't want to do that so um, what we want to do is we want to create a little script that will add the path as long as it's not in sys.path so here's how we're going to do that so first let's import uh, we need to import two modules we're going to import the OS module and the sys module and let's just define a function here I'm going to define a function called update sys path okay and the first thing um, we want to do is so we don't have to we don't want to have to hard code a specific directory each time we can write our code such that it will detect what directory uh, the file structure uh, the file is located in and since helpers is in the same file same file as main.py they will also have the same root folder root structure coming up uh, up to the file so first let's get the current working directory using the os.getcwd function so let's get the current working directory and that works like this CWD I'm going to save the that current working directory in that variable CWD and it's just OS dot get CWD beginning and ending parenthesis okay so that is our CWD function uh, next thing we need to do is um, go up one level so the current working directory is where the helpers file is but we don't want this directory added to our sys.path we want to append the directory that is one level up in other words the project directory and so this little bit of code will um, create um, the parent directory and that's what we want to that's what we want to append to sys.path so we're going to go up one level from current working directory and so we're going to create a new variable called parent directory parent tir and we're going to set that equal to the following os.path.absPath. okay and we're going to use the join um, method from os.path to combine the current working directory with um, two dots and the two dots will represent the uh, directory that is the uh, one directory higher in the hierarchy so this is how you write that os.path.join and we're going to pass two arguments to this join uh, function or join method which is the current working directory cwd and the string consisting of two periods okay so that's our parent directory and then now we've got the directory that we want to append to sys.path so now we're going to update sys.path variable now again we only want to update sys.path if that path is not already in there so we're going to use a little if statement if parent directory not in sys.path so if it's not in there then we're going to sys.path.append 
again because that's a list of strings so we're going to use the append method to append the parent directory okay and let's just print a little note to the console when this runs uh, saying um, let's uh, saying uh, adding and then let's pass parent dir to path so we'll print a little note and otherwise if the directory is already in there we'll just print uh, sys.path let's say okay so now we've got this function to um, update sys.path and um, check it looks good so let's go ahead and save that and let's go back into main.py and uh, from helpers let's import our function so uh, uh, import update sys path okay and then so the first thing we want to do before we um, import uh, these functions is actually we need to change this order here let's go ahead and call our function update sys path okay let's save that and let's give that a try and see if that works great so that actually worked it, it appended the, the uh, my project path into sys.path and now all three functions are working even though we do not have our main script in the same folder as my package.